so hi dear students how are you hope you have done a homework and the homework was find sum of first three um, odd digits in a number so this was the number and you have to find out the first three or from the left okay this one uh, was really easy uh, what you can do is let's have here one more value that is one and if I see and like this it will calculate all okay let's run this program and check it out okay mm, this was like this so now 3371 so 14 is the answer and but according to the problem we have to mm, uh, find the sum of the 3 so 337 should be calculated and out should output should be 13 right so what we need to do is we need to count the values right so what I'm going to do I'm going to take another variable value that is called a count okay we are going to take a help of a counter variable that is count and then uh, uh, we should count only if it is a odd value and the value of a count is increased whenever we found the count value so, so count whenever we found a even value count is equals to count plus one so every time we found a uh, odd value it will increase the value of account so here it will be one and here it will be two then three and then four so up to three we have to count so what I can do is I'm going to extend this condition to and and let's say count is less than equals to three okay if the count if the value of count is less than equals to two that means zero is the sorry one is the first value second is the third second value and third it should be three okay three then only you should count and then print the sum okay let's run this program and check it out so now you can see only 337 is being printed and calculated okay and see you can see my program works hope you got this answer and if you don't try to debug this one and see and why it is working because I have used or sorry and and why I haven't used or because in case of a or both the conditions uh, either one of the condition must be true to get inside the if condition and what I want is both the condition must be true it should be the odd value as well as the count should be less than 3 so for the both condition to be true I have to use a and as a logical operator okay now this is the simple solution and this was easy part of the uh, yesterday's homework and now the tricky part okay so now you have to count 3 2 uh, so 3 <laughs> three uh, sorry one uh, two and three okay and according to this digit four uh, five sorry five five and three so think of a solution if we cannot uh, do like this what we are going to do we are going to uh, uh, what we call it take three variables okay this can be done with the help of a list or best solution should be uh, the list but here is a little bit specific so we will be taking um, three variables let's say a b and c the value of all these is equals to zero okay so zero comma zero comma zero and then uh, let's see how this can be done now for the first time if the um, means we have to calculate only three no this time we have to go till the end okay so let a be the first value whose the value whose value is uh, 0 this time and let's uh, add these so s is equals to a plus b plus c that means a 0 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to store some values in it so um, let's say the value or r is equals to let's say c which is the last value okay right so every time when I calculate this I will get the only the last value right uh, if I say uh, let's get rid of all this and this 
so I should be getting the last value right let's delete this piece of our code so that it is it can be easily seen so here my last digit that is one should be the answer okay let's run this program and check it out mm, it is giving me how much actually I have calculated wrong let's do like this C is equals to R okay and let's run this program and check it out so now you can see I'm getting one why one let's run this program debug this program right right okay so let's set the debugging point okay I am not able to set it okay here is my debugging point and let's run this program see let's increase the size and check it out so initially when we see here in the debugging it is being connected so I have to wait now you can check it out the value of a b c and everything is zero count is one and you can see the number is the, the number is this and sum is also zero okay and you can figure it out in the IDE as well workspace also so how it is working let's minimize little bit so that I can clearly view my program and all the variables right so let's have hit F8 and check it out so the value of R becomes 3 which is the once place digit you can check it out and then let us press F8 again and now this will reduce the number to uh, you can check it out here at this place that is 68188723 less the once digit okay and then let's F8 now we found the value and this time the value of C becomes 3 okay and the sum becomes 3 also and count a plus 1 is becomes 1 okay this, though we do not need this value variable but uh, let's uh, do it with this only and then you can see now the value of R is 3 and we get inside and the value of C remains 3 and sum is also remains 3 okay because we have calculated recalculate the value and give the given the output so now let us have hit F8 so let's see now you can check it out now the value is even so it we didn't didn't get inside and see now the value of r is 7 we should get inside and the value of c is changed to now 7 and similarly sum is also changed to 7 okay now see count is increased and now again you can see uh, now we should be getting 8 uh, in r and so we do not get inside again we are getting 8 you can see and here also we should be skipping the if part of the program and now see value of r is 1 now the condition is true so value of c will be changed to 1 and hence s will also change to 1 so we'll, we will be getting the last value every time whenever my program executes right let's see so now the value of sum is equals to 1 and uh, that's fine this is the last and so we print the s is equals to 1 okay so we are getting the last value whether or not uh, th it doesn't matter whether it is 1 or let's say 9 so this time I have changed the, the last value to 9 and if I execute this piece of a code again and I should be getting 9 okay so similarly the uh, last value I am getting now what I should be getting to have 7 or second last value okay guess how we can do it so what I'm going to do before doing this I'm going to say that B is equals to C okay now let us see what I am getting okay hopefully this will this hint is enough let's run this program and check it out C 
see we are getting 16 and why I'm getting the 16 uh, C uh, you can check it out uh, is uh, we have 9 9 plus 7 is equals to 16 okay and if you check out if I say somewhat like this um, a is equals to B then if you run this program again you get your solution that is 19 let's check the value and that was 9 plus 7 is equals to 16 16 plus 3 is equals to 19 so finally we are able to achieve our target and please see and dig out how and why I was able to get this value okay and this is the homework and this is really um, cool exercise to find out why this program is working okay you should not be skipping before understanding the solution right so the key is this I am leaving up to you you should be able to figure it out why this is a part of the program okay for this specific solution right so this is only the homework I am not giving you any homework this uh, today because uh, this is really tricky to understand right okay bye bye see you and have a nice day